Hey guys, what's up? So uh, today's story time is about someone who is really stupid, and uh, let's get into that. <laughs> so about a year and a half ago, I was hanging out with a couple of friends of mine. I went out with my friends that night to a party, and then of course, with my luck, I lost my fucking phone. I do it very frequently. I either break it or I lose it, so not very good luck for me. I lost my phone. I went home that night without realizing I didn't have my phone on me. Got home, then realized I didn't have my phone on me. Freaked the fuck out, went back to the party with my friend, searched everywhere for my phone, and pretty much it was gone. I was like, fuck. So pretty much I went home thinking I just took the L, that I have to wake up in the morning and buy a new phone. Um, I was obviously going to try to find my iPhone it, but I figured like he either took it off or ripped the SIM card out or something. So anyway, skipped to the next day, I woke up, I got out and find my iPhone, and I was actually able to track it. And I made the alarm thing go off so that like whoever had it or was near it would hear it and then return it to me. But I realized that like it wasn't being returned to me after an hour of doing that. And I saw the neighborhood it was in. And it was the same exact neighborhood the party was in. So I was like, okay, well, it's still at the house. It's still got to be there. Let's go over there now and see like with less people there if I could find it. So I went over there, knocked on the door. The kid that was hosting the party answered. No one was there anymore. It was like literally just him at the house. And I was like, yo, man, like, I left my phone here last night at your party. Could I just come in and look for it? And he's like, nah, man, there's no phone here. I already checked, like, all around the house for tons of lost shit that people were saying they lost here. And I was like, okay, but you didn't find anything, like, nothing? He's like, nah. I'm like, all right, well, can I at least, like, just come in and call it quick, see if it rings? Because it's still on. And he's like, dude, I really don't want people in my house. I'm trying to clean right now. And I was like, can you just let me look for two minutes? He's like, fine. So he lets me in. I look around where I was. It was, like, the living room area. Couldn't find it. The one friend that came with me was helping me look too, and we just couldn't find it. And my friend goes, hold on, let me call it. And I was like, all right, go ahead. Because I was about to put the alarm thing on it anyway from the Find My iPhone app or whatever it is. So he starts calling it, and I can hear it in the house. I'm like, holy shit, it's here. So I keep looking for it, and I hear it. It sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. So I run over to the kitchen, and that's where the dude that hosted the party was standing in. And I'm looking, and all of a sudden I realize it's coming from the dude. Like, he has it in his pocket. So I look at him, and I'm like, yo, do you have my phone in your pocket? He goes, no, it's somewhere in this kitchen. I'm like, no, 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 hold on. Reach in your pocket. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And before he could even reach in his pocket, he turns around and runs the other direction out the front door, leaving me and my friend alone in his house. And we're like, what the fuck? Now, I wasn't really stressing because I was in the dude's house. Like, he had to come back eventually. He fucking lives there. And, like, we were alone in his house. Why would he leave us there? And my friend goes, hold on, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get him. I was like, dude, no, don't chase after him. He has to come back anyway. Like, literally, we're in his house. He goes, no, hold on. I want to get your phone back. So he just runs out the door after him. And I'm watching my friend chase him down his neighborhood road. And then I realize my friend's fast as fuck. Like, he's running after him. And he's catching up so fucking quick. So then I see the dude who stole my phone turn around and start running back towards the house. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, this is about to be a shitstorm. And he's coming up to the front door. And my friend's right behind him at this point. And before he can get to the front door, my friend just dive tackles him into his lawn and just fucking gets on top of him and starts like holding him down. And the dude's yelling, get the fuck off me, get off me. He's like, where's my friend's phone? Where is it? And he goes into his pocket and grabs the phone out of his pocket. And he finds it. He's like, stealing phones, dude? Why are you stealing phones? Why you gotta fucking lie to us? Like you had to make this hard. And the dude's just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like get off me. And my friend gets off him and he goes, here you go, Austin. He throws me my phone and I had like 10% left. Thank fuck we came when we did because if it was dead completely... Like, straight up, it would have been game over. I would have lost my phone with pretty much everything on it. And fucking, I was freaking out. Shout out to my phone for having a long-lasting battery life. Like, fuck, I don't even know how it lasted that long. So I unlocked my phone. Nothing was changed on it. I had a passcode on it so he didn't get in. I don't think he would have been able to do much until he, like, factory reset it or whatever or something like that. I don't really know what people do when they steal other people's phones because can't say that I do that. But I guess more of the story is uh, keep a fucking tight grip on your phone, guys, especially if you go out somewhere where, uh, you know, you're unfamiliar with. And yeah, just be safe and don't be a fucking idiot like me. Like, I usually always track my pockets before I leave somewhere for all my stuff. And for some reason, I was just so distracted I didn't. But shout out to my friend for dive tackling that dude and fucking getting my phone back. I don't think I would have ever gotten it back if it wasn't for him. Shout out to that dude. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of the story of how I got my phone stolen and then it got stolen back for me. If you guys enjoyed this story, please leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. Leave your guys' stories in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys all later. Peace.